Hey everybody, Merry Christmas and good morning to you. It's Pastor Joseph and my pup Tenor. Uh, we're here in my living room and uh, we just want to celebrate Christmas with you. In just a moment, you're going to hear from the rest of our pastoral staff. But before we do, I want to invite you to worship with me. So let's sing the song together. Joy to the world. Hey, Pastor Matthew, I got a gift for you. Here it is. Thanks, Pastor Joseph. Merry Christmas, Cornerstone. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. I am Becca, and this is my husband, Pastor Matthew, and these are our kids, Kinsley, Aurora, and Embry. Did we get a present? We did get a present. Do you want to open it? Yeah, let's see what's in here. <gasps> wow. Oh my goodness, our word is hope. Oh. Look at this pretty ornament, you guys. I love that. Girls, do you know Do you know who we put our hope in? Jesus. That's right, we put our hope in Jesus. And there's a great scripture in Romans chapter five, verses 13. And I just wanna read it really quick for everybody. It says, now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing so that you will abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I love that the whole reason that Jesus came to this earth, the whole reason he was born was to give us the hope that we will spend eternity with him someday. It's the whole reason he's here on earth and why he was born. He had a destiny in life. That's so true. <laughs> do we have another present to throw? Yeah, we do. Who's this for? This is for Douglas and Kristen. Oh, all right. Here you guys go. Oh, thank you, Pastor Matthew and Becca, for this gift. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah, thank you for joining us in our, in our home. We're looking forward to spending Christmas morning with you and the rest of Cornerstone. I am so excited. We are literally on our way to the airport yes. right now. We're going to see our grandkids and our children for Christmas. But first, we're going to open the gift that we got. Yes, we're so what did excited. we get? Ooh. We got an ornament that says peace and some crinkling stuff. Thank you. Let's talk about God's peace. Let's take a minute. People long for peace and harmony without the chaos and conflict of the world. People don't realize that peace comes from knowing that God has overcome the world so that we can view our worldly troubles and as temporary and see them um, in a better light. Um, it reminds me of a, a scripture that Pastor Scott um, shared in service um, a couple of weeks ago, and it's found in Matthew 11, um, 28, and I'm reading it from the message. It says, are you tired, worn out, burned out, burned out on religion? Come to me, get away with me, and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest, walk with me, and work with me, 
Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. I know when we're struggling with peace, having peace and with chaos and the noise of this world is that it's such comfort to be able to look towards Christ and, and have peace in Him and knowing that um, serving alongside of Him and Him using us in our community and at Cornerstone um, is really where peace comes from. Oh yeah, one more thing. We have a gift for Pastor Robert and Carla. Gosh, thanks Douglas and Christian. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yes, Merry Christmas from uh, Pastor Robert and Carla. We're really happy to see you guys this year on Christmas morning. We're uh, getting ready to uh, have many, many people over. We're gonna have three or four families on her That's side, my, my side, and uh, it's gonna be a fantastic day. Let's open this and see what we got. Yeah, great. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's an ornament. And what does it say? Joy. I'm gonna Joy. put it on the tree. Okay. <laughs> Joy is a great thing. And uh, I always like joy. A lot of people say that I'm always joyful because I have the smile. And uh, it's from the Lord. Matter of fact, there's a verse that I like that uh, talks about joy. It's in John. It says, I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. You see, joy comes from the Holy Spirit. And when you receive the Holy Spirit, you receive joy into your heart. And I'm not talking about happiness that has circumstances surrounding it. I'm talking about eternal joy. And another reason why we love Christmas so much is because our Savior was born. Over 2,000 years ago, He came to give us joy, joy everlasting. And through His work, through the Holy Spirit, now we have joy. Not conditional uh, happiness, not different circumstances, but a happiness that only can come through the Holy Spirit of Jesus. Jesus told His disciples, my Father's going to send a gift. That gift was the Holy Spirit, the Wonderful yes, One, yes. the Counselor, well, Emmanuel. And now we have that, that peace and that joy. And Jesus even said at the end, he said, don't worry about now because I will see you again. And when I see you, no one will take your joy. And it's that joy that we receive through the Holy Spirit that gives us a supernatural feeling that surpasses all things. Okay, so we have a gift now for Emily and Jake, Pastor Jake and... Wow. Thanks, Pastor Robert and Carla. Merry Christmas, Thank everyone. You guys. And welcome yeah. to our home. This is our dog, Beans. He's always stoked for uh, opening up presents. I know you guys are too. Yep. Well, let's get to this present. Yeah, I can't and wait open to open it up. up. This gift says the word love. It says the word love. I always think of love languages. My favorite love language is words of affirmation. I know Emily's love language is a little bit of everything, uh, <laughs> but I love this season because it we kind of show all of these different types of love languages. And then when we think about our Heavenly Father, He showed us the most sacrificial love that we could ever dream of, and that's giving His one and only Son to us um, so that we can live with him for eternity. So yeah, we it, have a verse that yeah, uh, we want to encourage you guys Yeah, it reminds me of this with. verse uh, from 1 John 4, 19. We love because he first loved us. Whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. And he has given us this command. Anyone who loves God must also love their brother and sister. And obviously this goes beyond our family. Um, sometimes family is the easiest to love and sometimes the hardest. Um, but even throughout to our spiritual family, our brother, brothers and sisters in Christ, 
as well as um, our unbelieving friends and family. So um, we just encourage you to love one another, love one another. And this also reminds me of how God is teaching us in the coming year, a whole new meaning of love um, with our baby coming. <laughs> um, that our hearts are just getting ready to expand and really understand even more so the love that God has for us. So um, we are very excited about that. And we have a We gift. have a gift for somebody very special. You it's can... for Zach and Amy. Thank you, Pastor Jake and Emily and Merry Christmas Cornerstone family. Hi guys, Merry Christmas. We are the Pattersons. My name is Amy. This is my husband, Zach, our son, Jonathan, Matthew, and Madeline. Do you guys want to open up the present? Yeah. yeah. We got the gift of faith. What do we know about faith? Hebrew says faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. First Peter says, though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him. On this Christmas and every Christmas, we remind each other to put our faith in Emmanuel, God with us. Merry Christmas from the Pattersons. And this gift is for Pastor Scott and Michelle. Thanks, Zach and Amy. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Michelle and I are so thrilled to be able to be here with you on this Christmas morning. We're getting ready to have all the kids come over and we're gonna have Christmas breakfast and open up some presents. But we wanted to take this opportunity just to tell you how much we love you and uh, we wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas. Um, we're gonna open up this gift okay. from Zach and Amy. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> Ah, it's an ornament with the word Noel. The word Noel. That's one of those words that you don't really know what it means. Like, what does the word Noel mean? Yeah, like the first Noel. Yeah, so yeah. we looked it up and it's actually really cool because the word Noel is a French word that means Christmas and it also can mean good news. But the word Noel is also a Latin root word that means birth. And so it all, all those things go together, meaning cool. the birth of Jesus. Yeah. There is something else in here. It is the manger, it's baby Jesus. <laughs> I think that's really cool that that's in here because it reminds us that Jesus is the greatest gift. Mm -hmm. He's the greatest gift mm -hmm. that God has given to us, given to the world. and. Um, it's really cool as we celebrate this Advent season that we're reminded that um, because of Jesus, because He is the greatest gift, that we can have all these other gifts. All those things that we just saw. Yeah. Love. Hope. Yeah. Hope. Joy. joy peace. peace <laughs> faith. faith. Yeah. Did we get them all? I think we got them all. <laughs> um, but anyways, I think that's really cool. And I, I just want to read this one scripture, and I'm sure many of you already know it, but it's uh, found in Luke, Luke chapter two. Mm -hmm. And it reads this way, Luke chapter two, verse number six. It says, while they were there, and it's talking about Mary and Joseph in Bethlehem, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth, Mary gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes, cloths, and placed him in a manger where there was no guest room available for them. I'm so thankful that um, God sent Jesus when he did and uh, that we have the opportunity today to receive the greatest gift, which is Jesus Christ. And what great benefits we have um, from Jesus to experience all of these things, such as hope and joy and love and faith and all these that we have talked about. On behalf of our family, we wanna say again, Merry Christmas to you and from our staff, we love you so much. We're so thrilled for this next year, all that God has um, already organized and done and uh, we're gonna be walking in some new territory and a lot of faith. Thank you so much for your faithfulness and uh, your support over these past few months as we have uh, taking some huge steps of faith. Anyways, we love you. God bless you. Have a great Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey, thanks, Pastor Scott and Michelle. Well, hey, listen, church, before we close our time together, I just want to sing one more song with you. Children, we 
And on behalf of the Cornerstone staff, we just want to wish you a Merry Christmas and we hope you have a wonderful day.